Hey there, Sharon Horn Olson here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case we haven't met yet, go ahead and put hashtag pajama in the comments below so you know it's the first time you're being exposed to Pajama Grandma. Today is day 29, actually, of a little thing I decided I'd start doing between the time I was going through some massive chaos and stress in my life and the end of the year because the end of the year tends to have a lot more activity and chaos for a lot of people. And so I wanted to do something that would make me feel better and in making me feel better, share it with you in the hopes that it would help you feel better too. Well, I'm a believer and fan in these amazing card decks from various authors. They're just summaries or like flashcards from different books or wise sayings. This happens to be the wisdom card deck from Louise Hay that different authors have written. It's just another way of presenting the material that's often found in books, kind of info products and info sharing expanded at its best. Well, Health, wealth, and relationships seem to be the area that we have the biggest challenges in our life. So in order to address each of those areas, I decided between now and the end of the year, I would pull a card from each of these different decks and I carry them with me throughout my day. I actually put them in my little goal book that I always have with me. You can see I've got yesterday's in the front of the book and I'll take those out and I will switch them out for today's and I carry them with me every day. Sometimes I'll actually take one and put it in my pocket. If I've got a big pocket, I can take the big ones. If I've got a littler pocket, this will fit in my jeans pocket. And so sometimes I like to just carry them in my pocket. And then throughout the day, I, it's like I have a little friend in my pocket the whole day, a little positive motivational message that I know all I have to do is touch that pocket. And boom, I feel better because it reminds me of the card that I read in the morning. And then if I'm really needing an extra boost, I pull it out of my pocket and I actually read it and look at it. But it's just a way to remind me of thinking in the direction I want to think. And a lot of the messages in these cards tell us the reason why we want to do that. So let's go ahead and dig in and look at them today. The first one is from the well-being deck and it has got some little looks like Robin's eggs or maybe that's a dove. I don't know. Some kind of eggs on it. And it says, I need my handy dandy magnifying glass. Oh, bright lights. I'm not here to fix anything. I'm here for fun. Who feels that way? I'm not here to fix anything. I'm here for fun. It says, you are not here to fix anything because nothing is broken, but everything is continually changing and expanding. Who here has experienced that where everything around them is feeling like chaos and changing and never staying the same? Well, that's because it doesn't. Nothing in the universe or the world stays the same. It's either expanding and getting better and spiraling up or it's declining and deteriorating and spiraling down. Nothing except the instant that you're in, the present moment, ever stays the same. So release your struggle and seek joy and fun. And in doing so, you will align with the fantastic expanding rhythm of the universe. Now, the natural state of the world and the universe, got a cat here, is expansion. So if you're participating in that and expanding and, and having new experiences and enjoying them and living your life in fun and love and light, then you have a great experience of life. i got to watch this cat before she spills my coffee. And if you're not, then... The opposite's true. So you get to choose, but that's the cool part. You get to choose if you're going to be expanding and spiraling up or declining and spiraling down. So that is our well-being message for today. And that applies to everything. It applies to our health. It applies to our finances. It applies to our contribution. It applies to our relationships. Absolutely everything. Our mental and our, our spiritual and our physical well-being all tied to what we want to create and how we think and feel about it. The next one from the Louise Hay Wisdom Deck says... I am a natural winner. I am a natural winner. And yes, you are. It says, I only listen to winners, people who know what they are doing and who live a joyous, loving, prosperous life. One of the biggest pieces of advice I got from someone in business was that pay attention to who you're listening to. You only listen to people with respect to business advice who have either already done what you've done before or something greater or have already done something that you want to do before or something greater. Don't listen to people that have never done what you want to do. Here's a good example. People will criticize you and tell you and, and judge your Facebook Live videos all the time. But 90% of them or 95% of them have never ever even done a Facebook Live in their life. So, yep, they can give you some feedback. But until they have the courage to, to actually do one, you always take their feedback with a grain of salt. But you do totally listen to the people that have done a lot of Facebook Lives and are having success in getting the results that you want to get with your Facebook Lives. So finally, from Wealth or Money and the Law of Attraction book, 
We've got, I'm not sure what that is. There's lots of eyes in these. I'm not sure eyes must mean money or something. I am always receiving the essence of what I am giving. I'm always receiving the essence of what I'm giving. You may or may not have heard the saying, and it's a true principle. We get back exactly what we give out. We give, and then there's an exchange of value in what we receive. We have to give before we receive. And giving isn't money necessarily. Giving is your time, your energy, your effort, your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs. Those are all ways to give. See what this card has to say. I am always receiving the essence of what I am giving. Appreciation and love and alignment to that which is source is the ultimate giving back, so to speak, for in your pain and struggle, you have nothing to give back. What you are living is always an exact replication of your vibrational pattern of thought. Nothing could be more fair than a life as you are living it. For as you are thinking, you are vibrating. And as you are vibrating, you are attracting. And so you are always getting back the essence of what you are giving. Now, that's a really, really powerful statement. So whatever we're giving out in our thoughts, our feelings, and our vibrations is the essence of what we're giving back. So if I'm giving out doubt, worry, fear, anxieties, frustration, stress, guess what I'm getting back? Doubt, worry, fear, or more situations that are causing me to have doubt, worry, fear, chaos, stress, and, and, and sadness or whatever. But if I'm giving out love and light and generosity of spirit, kindness, those are the things I'm going to get back. What could be more fair than that? This is an interesting one because my dad always taught me life isn't fair. But this is saying that on a universal level, life is ultimately fair. You give out what you want to receive and that's what you receive back. So think about that today. These are really great cards like every day to carry with. They say that every day to carry with me every day. So what can you think about today that will move you in the direction of, of what you want, in the direction of where you want to go with your life? Think about that. Feel that. Act as if it's already true in your life and see how miraculously things change for you and how much more enjoyable this time of year is with family and friends and, and the holiday celebrations. That's it. Have a fantastic day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.